Today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack in a series of deliberate and deadly terrorist acts. The jets fueled for cross-country flights were filled with tens of thousands of gallons of volatile fuel. They were literally flying bombs. <laughs> Make no mistake, the United States will hunt down and punish those responsible for these cowardly acts. One second after the sound started, there was gray smoke and what looked to be like confetti flying all over the place. The enormity of the situation today was just, uh, it was, it was just incredible. This lack of self-control I fear is never ending, controlling, I can't see to find myself again, my walls are closing in. Not a sense of confidence, I'm convinced that it's just too much pressure to take. I felt this way before, so insecure. In a matter of seconds, the skyscraper collapsed and was gone. Of the 400 firefighters who first reached the scene may be dead. Thousands of lives were suddenly ended by evil, despicable acts of terror. 10,000 people in each tower would be, typically be in there on a normal business day. And we get about another 5,000 visitors during the course of the entire day. Mm -hmm. So by 8.30, 9 o'clock, the building should have been full. Terrorism has been alive and well throughout the rest of the world for a very, very long time. And you can point to it in many different places. And it's, it's come to our shores big time now. We need to understand that. Terrorist attacks can shake the foundations of our biggest buildings. But they cannot touch the foundation of America. These acts shatter steel but they cannot dent the steel of American resolve. These acts of mass murder were intended to frighten our nation into chaos and retreat. But they have failed. Our country is strong.